Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to turn a picture into an SVG cutting file. For this, we're going to be using the free graphic design program, Inkscape. Let's start. But before, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Like I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to be using the free graphic design program, Inkscape. If you don't have it and would like to use it, go to inkscape.org and download it. The photos that I use to do this process need to have a transparent background. In this way, I will obtain a more defined SVG. First, I'm going to show you how to remove the background. For this, I like to use a free online program. This one is called Remove BG. Go to remove that BG, upload the picture that you need to use, and as you can see, the program will automatically remove the background of the photo. When ready, click on download and save it on a folder that is easy for you to access. Now go back to Inkscape, go to File, click on Open, select the picture that you just cleaned and open it. Click OK. Here is the photo. I'm going to make it smaller. Now select the picture, go to filters, click on color, and then click on grayscale. Here you're going to select live preview. And this is how it's going to look black and white. Adjust the likeness to your liking. I like to leave it a little dark so I can get a lot of details on the faces. And then click on apply and close the window. When finished with that process, go to path, click on trace bit map and you're going to see this window. Here, you're going to leave it on single scan and brightness cut off. Next, we're going to adjust the brightness. Every time we change those numbers, we have to click on update. The higher the number, the more details we're going to get in the picture. Adjust to your liking, click update and then apply. And here is the first layer. You can save it like that if you wish, or you can add more details. I'm going to add some details on the hair. Select the picture again and lower the numbers on the brightness. Remember to click on update every time you change those numbers. When ready, click on apply. As you can see, now the hair have more detail. Put it on top of the picture, send it to the top using this icon up here and replace the color to white. Align this layer on top of the picture and ready. Here is the photo already converted into SVG format. The image is a little dark, but like I mentioned before, you may adjust the brightness to obtain the quality you are looking for. I will make another one with less brightness so you can see. Now 
You can make several pictures and at the end, you can pick the one that you like the most. The second one has less details on the face, but still looks good. And one more step. This picture has two layers. If you wish to work with two layers, you may save it like this. But if you wish to work with one layer only, select both layers, go to path, and click on difference. Now it's only one layer. After saving this file, you will be able to open it on any program that requires SVG. For example, Cricut Design Space, Silhouette Studio, and others. Here are the steps we took to make this photo into SVG. First, we erase the background. Next, we turn it to grade scale or black and white, then into SVG and layers or cutting file. As you can see, this process was very easy. And the last step is to save this photo into SVG format. Before saving it, erase everything that you don't need, leaving the picture that you are going to save only. Place the picture inside the square, go to File, click on Save, name it and on file type select plain svg and then click on save now the svg picture is ready to be opened in another program that requires svg format like for example cricut design space silhouette studio and others I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video and press the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.